Hey guys, back to a quick little tour and overview of this 2001 Chrysler PT Cruiser GT. I believe 2001 was the first year of the PT Cruiser, and um, this is the fully loaded model, so uh, let's get started. It's in this very nice black color with these 16-inch um, chrome wheels. They are very nice. They are riding on Explorer off-brand tires, obviously, but you have nice chrome door handles with your sunroof. Halogen headlights with halogen fog lights. I personally actually really like these cars. I mean, I don't love them, but this particular model, I actually really like this color combination. But um, this one has 110,000 miles on it. Um, it has like a brown, beige, gray mixture interior with your suede insert seats. So step on in. Very, very nice step in height. I mean, it's like you sit up very high in this car. Um, you have a let me just adjust my seating. You have actually automatic seat height and then manual <clears throat> up and down. But um, anyways, coming on to the door panel, it is hard touch. Don't expect nothing too fancy. You do have like a suede insert right here, really nice. It is kind of just a, just kind of a padded armrest. I guess it's like, eh, I don't know how to explain it. You have a chrome door handle, headlights here. You pull out for fog lights, pop it back in. Let's see, you have your gauges right there as well as your leather wrapped steering wheel. Dashboard is all hard touch. It's decently green though. Window switches for the front. I don't know where the rears are at, but um, yeah, that's weird. There's no rear window switches. Maybe they're down there. Does it? How you open the rear windows? It's kind of weird. You have a four speed automatic with your leather shift gear, leather wrapped gear shifter with some more storage down there. <clears throat> Chrysler audio can system, typical. You know, defrost everything. Climb control it does clunk in the dash. Doesn't really bother me. Um, you have your AC controls here, your heating controls here. That's kind of confusing, but it's not when you look at it for a minute. And you have some storage in there. It isn't damped, but um, overall, this is a very nice car, and it shouldn't last a long time. My friend has one of these, and it's got like 190,000 miles on it. Um, but they're like the, I think they're like the first or second owners of the car. So I mean, yeah, they last a pretty long time if you take care of them. You have a power moonroof up here um, with a padded headliner, very nicely padded. So I mean, yeah, lighted vanity mirror. All four ocean handles. Um, again, this is a really nice car for like a first car or something. Even back in the day, it was really nice. That one's pretty cool, but it's not unlocked, and I really like that combination as well. You have nice roof racks. Maybe that's why I like it. But um, over here, stepping on into the rear, you have the same seating materials as well as an airbag in the seat. Back here isn't too special to gripe about, but um, it is really comfortable actually for what it is. I mean, I am very comfortable back here. Actually, the most comfortable car I've probably sat in, at least for a car like this. Um, you have great legroom under the seats. A very good thigh support. I'm not even trying to hype this car up. I mean, you have your window switches on there, cup holder, just basic stuff. Netting right here, dual netting. Everything does follow through to the rear. Um, I can't believe I'm actually liking this car, but um, yeah, I do like this car. You have headrest right here, and the leather is all right. It's pretty high quality. I mean, it's uh, all right. It's not vinyl or anything, but it's leather, but um, yeah. Up here, your little dome light up here. You have like little speakers back there, so it's a it's a four speaker audio system, which sounds pretty good. You have some pockets in here, and um, yeah, they're asking like seven grand for this. I mean, that's a little pricey, but these do hold their value pretty good. And where they do rot, they do rot typically right there. Up in the trunk, you just pull that little thing up like that, and it brings it to a very 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 generous cargo storage. I didn't think it was going to be this big, but you have new struts there, um, very nice, you have a light right there, your jack storage, um, fold the seats down, you just push push that down and then they fold, not flat, but they are removable and what you do get is a very nice cargo loading floor, so I mean, again, this car really opened my eyes up, I mean, I never liked them, but I do now, and so anyways guys, thanks for watching, we'll talk to you all later.